hello welcome back to our youtube channel i'm gabs one half of slip slip sis and today is a craft with me vlog so realistically it's probably the next seven days but i am back test knitting which I've been watching for a while you used to you know that i was an avid test knitter before this um but then i kind of burned out and quit test knitting and now I only do test knits when it's like the perfect combination of the things that, um, and this is it. It's a sock, so it's a quick, I only have to make, make one. It's a quick deadline. It's a quick thing that I need to make. I like the design and um, what's it called? And I like the communication method that you're doing with the designer. So this one is the Coral Reflections um, Socks by Alindria Knits, which is Jennifer, who I believe watches this. So hello, Jennifer. So um, designers can obviously record or run their tests however they like. But in the past, I just sign up for everything. If I liked the designer, I sign up for whatever they were um, designing. I'm not doing that anymore because I was realizing that I was that was making me burn out. So I don't want to burn out. I don't want to do that anymore. Um, and what was the most important for me was the method of communication. Like some designers run them on Ravelry threads and Ravelry threads, I never get notifications. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's probably because my Chili and I share a Ravelry account. So maybe she gets the notifications, but regardless, no, I can't do it by Ravelry. I, Slack never seems to work out for me. Um, don't like doing it just by email because it doesn't feel very much like a community and neither does Yarn Pond. So, because Yarn Pond, I never get a notification. So pretty much, unless it's Facebook chat or Instagram chat, I don't sign up for the test anymore. So, I am excited about these socks. I got accepted to the test while we were at Jimmy Bean's Wool. But I didn't have a scale, so I couldn't weigh my yarn. Then I got distracted trying to finish the MCAL that I was working on. and didn't really want to cast on another project until I finished it. Well, this is due on the 26th. It's the 19th, which is fine. I got seven days to do this, and I only have to do one sock. So, and I'm knitting the smallest size. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. But that is today's goal. This, the yarn I am using is hypnotic yarns. I think it's like step up to bullying. Chaley will yell at the screen as in right now as I don't know that, but it's blue with pink. So I'm excited. They're going to be cute. They're little ankle shorties, um, which is what I really like. It's got like one of those rolled, it's got a rolled edge, I guess, when you only knit stockinette and it rolls kind of like the Rose City rollers, but I got to go run. I'll talk to you about this later. I cast on the sock and like zoomed through it. I've been working on my MCAL socks for the past like two weeks and it's a pretty complicated textured pattern and it took me a really long time. Um, it's just a lot going on in the sock. Um, so it's nice. This isn't a vanilla sock. There's like, um, I'd say a basket weave pattern on it and then a couple rounds of like stocking it. But I'm zooming through this sock. I made it through the cuff. It's a rolled cuff, so granted it's faster. Rolled cuff, the leg, I did do a short leg because, I don't know, rolled cuff to me says like ankle socks. And I'm a hardcore millennial. I had avocado toast every single day this week. I part my heart, my hair on the side. You know, millennial. Um, so... I did a little more of an ankle sock look because I honestly don't care if, uh, what's it called? Did you see the, um, the TikTok on like how people know you're a millennial if you're wearing ankle socks? Yeah, I don't care. I'm 33. I don't mind being a millennial. I teach high school. There's no masquerading that I'm young and cool and hip. Yeah, no, I don't care. 
Um, so I made them angle socks, which the pattern calls for two repeats, and I just did one. Um, I also was thinking, because I have a smaller foot, um, when you make a long leg, the, it look, the sock ends up like disproportionate to the foot. It looks silly. So I did one repeat for the leg, heel flap and gusset for the toe, made it through all of my decreases already, and I'm already on the foot. And I started it like, I think that I started it while the girls were taking a bath last night. Daniel was watching them. Um, so it's probably around seven last night and I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this sock today. So it's feeling good to be like, whew, done, quick, all of those things. I'm going to try and finish both socks. Um, the deadline is the 26th, um, but I only need one sock by the 26th. So I should be fine. Um, I'm really enjoying the pattern. Super easy to memorize, super easy to follow. It's similar to self-striping where it changes enough um, to keep you wanting to knit the next thing, but not um, so complicated like the MCAL socks that you're having to constantly refer to the pattern. Um, I'm referring to the pattern a little bit more than I normally would, just knitting, but that's because it's a test and I want to make sure I'm doing all the test knitty things that you are supposed to do. Um, but it's going really great and I'm really enjoying testing. Uh, the designer's great, responds super quick when I have questions, that kind of thing. The chat's super great. It's just the perfect kind of test knit. Anyway, I have to go run because I've been walking and talking for like 10 minutes. Okay. All right, I have finished my Coral Reflection socks. It was one of the fastest sock patterns I've ever made without like consciously rushing or consciously like speeding up my knitting. It just went super fast. Um, and other people in the test knit were saying the same thing, that it just went by super fast. Someone's already made two pairs. I finished both pairs. Technically, I only needed to finish one to complete my sock test requirements, but I did two, both. Um, I started out with 52 grams of the main color and ended up with 12.7 grams. So I used about 40 grams, um, which is kind of a lot because I did the 48 stitch circumference. So I did that. Um, and then I ended up with, I started with 19 grams of the contrast co color and ended with 11.4. So seven and a half, no, eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half grams of the contrast color. So you probably, like you could totally do this with a sock set. The sock sets are usually 100 grams and then you get 20 gram minis. So that would be perfect. You could maybe squeak by with a 10 gram mini, maybe, but I don't know. Cause if the circumference is bigger, right? If you're doing the 56, 64, 72, then you'll use more yarn, obviously. Um, so I don't know. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It's actually a pattern I would do again. I was really a fan of the rolled cuff. I'm not, I haven't been enjoying my ribbed cuffs lately. They've just been kind of annoying me. And I don't really know why. Um, maybe I haven't knit too many socks, but so I enjoyed the change from a rolled cuff. The pattern was super easy. Um, didn't catch any errors, didn't catch any anything that needed to fix it. I think there's like one thing that one person already mentioned in the test and it's like missing a number or something like it, but it's like super easy and slash intuitive if you know how to knit socks, but I'm sure it will be corrected by then because it's been mentioned already in the chat, so it's no problem. I believe the pattern comes out. I know my test is due the 26th. I think it comes out the 27th and from what I've seen of all her other releases, she usually does a coupon code and it's usually like 15% off. So if you're liking the socks, definitely go check them out. They're super cute. Um, also, sh Jennifer, the designer behind Alindra Knits, is hosting the Sock Challenge Make Along, I think it's called. I wanna keep calling it Summer Sock Challenge, but I don't think that's right. I think it's the Sock Challenge Make Along. And it's just making socks over the summer. And you enter it in the Google form, but you get different point. There's like different point values for what you make. So like the ones that I made were fingering 
adult sized socks. Um, so you get five points for that one. But like if you make DK adult size socks, it's like three points. Or I think children's socks are maybe less. And if you make larger socks, like for a person who wears like 12, I think it's size, men's size 12 or larger, you get extra points for that. You get extra points for trying new techniques. You get points for taking a break on your hands, but you can only use at once. Um, so you can get all these different points. And then if you get, I think if you score 25 points, you get 25% off one of her patterns. If you score 50 points, you get 50% off one of her patterns. I think her patterns are usually $6 or so, but I'm not sure. I haven't looked recently. Um, I also, you also can end, be entered into winning a bunch of different prizes. She have hosts it on Discord as well as on Instagram. Um, I've seen like maybe 10 or 12 prizes in the Discord thread. Um, and we're also offering a coupon code for Etsy. We are also one of the prize donors. So check all of that out during her Discord. It's great. All of her patterns are great. I've tested it with her, with her before. I have, I did the melting point socks. It's a, it looks like an ice cream melting or a popsicle melting. Uh, I did those last summer, which the pattern was great. I just learned that I don't like ladder back to card. And I also won the naming contest for one of her recent designs, her Suckadelic Blooms. That's my idea. The title, not the design. The design's obviously her idea. Um, but the title is my idea. So, I was proud of myself. Um, yeah. So check out all of her work. It's awesome. It's very warm and it's only eight. I woke up late today and I'm supposed to be running, but it's already super warm to run. I usually run at like 6.30, so I'm an hour and a half late to the run. Um, but it did, that wasn't working out. So I'm off. Thank you for joining us. Next videos will probably be a podcast and our Kauai videos. That's where we're going on vacation. And Christmas in July starts. So we're going to do, I'm going to do some Christmas in July vlogmas where you'll see a lot of this walking and running. Uh, morning chickens. What did Shaylee call them again? Morning musings. All right. Thank you so much. See you later.